Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin and this is the Dyson Corral Hair Straightener. And in today's video, I am going to straighten my hair with it. I obviously already have, so I'm filming this at the end, but I wanted to give you guys an overview of what I thought, first impressions. This is my first time ever curling my hair with it. And side note, I am not a professional hairstylist by any means. So bear with me as we go through this, but let's get to it. Okay, so I washed my hair last night and I blow dried it and did nothing else. So this is gonna be perfect for straightening it. Um, and I'm going to turn this on now. Um, I'm gonna put it to the third heat setting. There are three. There's 330, 365, or 410. Okay, that already <laughs> heated up, so that was very fast. So that's already good. Um, and I'm gonna section off my hair. I'm gonna put this back in here. Anytime you don't use this, I would put it back into the charger um, so that it charges. The battery life is about 30 minute runtime, so um, it dies kind of fast. So charge it when you're not using it, but I'm gonna suction off my hair and then let's get to it. Okay, so I have really long, thick hair, so I'm gonna take smaller pieces as I go. Um, if you have thinner hair, you can take bigger pieces. Just kind of like play with it and see what works for you, but do these little baby guys first real quick. No, I actually think I'm gonna put this up to the higher level because my hair is really thick, so I'm gonna put it up to 410. And it's already done. That heats up so fast. Okay. The other cool thing about this is the plates, they gather the hair so that it doesn't like fan out as you go. So you'll see when I do this next piece, As I go through, the hair's not fanning out. It like keeps it all in a straight line. So that is really cool because then you're not having to adjust it every two seconds. Because normally with other straighteners, I always have to adjust it to make sure that all the hair's getting in so that it's like really consistent and smooth. I don't really even need to go over each strand twice. I think it was just a force of habit that I'm doing that. And I'm like barely pressing on this too, like I'm not putting a lot of pressure and it's still super straight. Okay, bottom layer done. Initially, it feels very soft is good because it did not feel soft before I started doing this. Let's do the next section. Right, so there you have it. It's really straight and it feels so soft and that did not take a long time at all, at all. Kinda love it. Ah. So that's that, you guys. Look at how straight it is. It looks so good and it feels even better, honestly. It is so smooth and it was not this smooth before. I can't stop touching it but it also is so shiny. Do you see this? Am I blinding you with my shine? Maybe a little bit. So yes, Dyson Corral, I really, really enjoyed it. It didn't take me that long to straighten my hair. The heat settings, they heat up so fast. So I loved that about it. And like I said in the video, I really loved how 
It doesn't fan out your hair as it's going down. So it's like really consistent everywhere. Just sleek straight. I will say the downside is battery life. It does die a little bit quickly, but you can plug it in with the plug or you can just make sure that you keep putting it into the charger as you're straightening. Um, and other one would be price. It is a little bit pricier, but if you're in the market for it, I would definitely suggest it. It is a very good hair straightener. So if you have any other questions about the Dyson Corral, please feel free to reach out to us by phone, email, or chat with one of our experts online. We are always happy to help. In the meantime, make sure you check out our other videos on the Dyson Corral. We have an overview and I teach you how to curl your hair with the Dyson Corral. So make sure you check those out. I'll see you next time.